what's really true is we enter into a relationship. We are always in relationship with everything that we're around. And so in that moment, as we enter the woods, we become part of the woods. We are part of the forest. We just happen to be mobile and have different senses and not necessarily located there, but we are there temporarily. And the birds and the trees and insects, you know, in that moment, we're just another part of the forest. And so, um, so I think that's an important part of what happens in the heart is we, is it becomes more sensitive and we realize we are in relationship. And, um, you know, one of the things that arises out of that relationship is, is, is also the love that grows in our own heart. You know, I think it's, it's a reciprocal feeling of both being held, like you talked about in the rim, in the river or by in a rock. But also, um, what I find is I just feel tremendous love, like for the trees or the rocks or the insects or the birds or whatever it is. It just, it just pours out of me. It just, it's not, I'm not trying to be loving. It just, you know, like, how could I not love beauty and vulnerability and, and, and majesty? And, and so it's a, it's a beautiful thing to let ourselves be touched and opened. And then, and of course, as we love, then we tend to care more about those things. And when we care more about those things, we're more likely to protect them. And so I have this phrase uh, that forms the basis of my work. It's, we protect what we love. Mm. And so I, I think of my work, my work in my work is helping people fall back in love with the earth or fall more deeply in love with the earth. So they'll actually care for it more and steward it more and protect it more and and rally for it more than than before so that's my my closet mission is to is to unleash a you know throngs of earth loving protectors really because what the earth needs right now is stewardship and protection and and radical you know transformation of human society so we can live sustainably and but i think if people don't have intimate contact with nature it's just a concept it's just like oh yeah right the you know the far the the deserts are you know you know growing and the the oceans acidifying and the corals bleaching and it just doesn't mean anything unless you actually like when i walk in the forest now in northern california where i live i feel you know it's i feel you know it's really sad it's so bleak that it's so dry it's i mean the forests are so stressed the ground feels dead the creeks are dry and you know forests are burning left right and center you can't you can't go anywhere in northern california and not be smoked out to some degree and um you know so so when we care when we love then we you know we want to do something about that we don't want to go to sleep right how can you go to sleep when something that you love is burning up you know you want to do something so so i think that that love kindles hopefully a a force for action you know engagement and responding yeah